In 2006, I had a life-changing event. I was diagnosed with a 14-pound tumor, and the next day, I was in the hospital. Part of the rehab plan was, we gotta start moving a little bit. That coincided with hy V bringing the triathlon into town. There were so many kinds of people, um, tall, short, old, young. That just made it seem like, wow, this is something that's, that anyone can do. And I knew that from that day, I was gonna do triathlon. During my wife's pregnancy, we both completely let things go. We were, you know, a pack a day smoker. We were eating really, really poorly. I saw the way that my choices were influencing my wife's, and I knew eventually they were going to be influencing my daughter. The biggest motivator was trying to be better for her. We have three daughters. Our oldest and our youngest have this rare condition called ataxia telangiectasia, or AT. It's a combination of the worst symptoms of cerebral palsy, MS, and Parkinson's. By the time they're in the teens, they're using a wheelchair. When I first moved to Des Moines, I wasn't really running or doing anything, and so it was after college when I moved here that I really just started running, and I thought that was gonna be the extent of it. When I told everybody that I was going to train and be in a triathlon, um, they laughed. I didn't know how to swim, and I hadn't run more than a mile ever. I had to start just like all the other four and five-year-olds who start in the water. I had to blow bubbles, get my face in the water, and learn to breathe. We received uh, memberships to Extreme Body Shaping. When I started the testing, they said, you're too unfit to start getting fit right now and I think maybe that initial disappointment is what helped set me up to a lifestyle change. And that's when I decided that triathlon was going to be the next goal. We got a phone call from Tim Borland, who was an ultra marathoner, and he proposed that he take one of our children through the Hy-Vee Triathlon to where he's wearing us and pushing and pulling her the whole way. Not a lot of people know about it, so that will give a chance for more people to know what it was. When I saw her cross the finish line, she had her arms raised. She and Tim were really excited to be able to complete the triathlon. For Paige and Alex, they don't really get these experiences, so to see them be able to do something that a lot of people don't get the opportunity to even do is an amazing feeling. The High Beach Triathlon holds a, a place in our heart and we'll eternally be grateful. One thing that completely caught me by surprise was the support of all the other athletes. Going from the bike to run my legs were incredibly exhausted. I didn't think there was any way I was going to be able to run the rest of the race. There's a guy who came up behind me who really kind of pushed me and told me to keep going. It was definitely a huge motivating factor for me that this stranger would stop and chat with me and kind of push me to dig deep and find that extra strength and endurance to finish the race. Three years ago, I was almost 300 pounds, and since then, I've lost over 100 pounds, and I'm a triathlete. It's cool to see my daughter at the races. I mean, you can hear her from a mile away. She's screaming for me. I hope what we're doing now will rub off on her, and I think it will. I would say to anybody in my position, I would say just do it. It's going to change everything. You're going to have confidence. It's not as daunting and as overwhelming as it may seem. You can definitely do it. It's a difficult story to tell people that you're scared of the water, to tell people that you couldn't run very fast and you were last all the time. I want people to see even a drop of themselves in me and say, maybe I could do that.